Hello Blender Files SDN with me Shubham from Blender File and this is the Node concept and today we have uh, the noise and the Voronoi texture so yeah let's begin uh, today I was doing some Voronoi practice at home and uh, yeah so anyways uh, let's begin so I have a plane and I scaled it up to the side of the grid and let's bring this up and change this to the Node editor now I add in a new material and uh, I'll add in a uh, texture and noise. So uh, the noise and Voronoi textures both actually, you know, are more used for their factor value instead of their color value. So we'll be, you know, doing a little bit of factors over here right now. So um, let's see, uh, factors, uh, they are actually values. So values like 0 and 1 and uh, you know in computer language 0 and 1 are binary and they are also a boolean function and 0 represents a false value and 1 represents a, a true value and they can also be denoted with a color and that is black for 0 and white for 1 so you know if you see a color which is black then you can uh, take it as a factor value of 0 so that is how you know Blender and I guess most of the softwares deal with. And so if they press Control Shift and left click and left click again, then the factor will go as the output over here. And now if I press Shift Z, you can see we have a noise map over here, which is you know generating a noise pattern. So this is the noise texture, uh, noise texture which is generating a you know noisy map, you know, black and white texture and then there is the scale factor so it increases the amount of noise and you know you can see that. you can see that so it's very self-explanatory and the detail is you know changing the detail of the noise so you can see it's more detailed noise and this is less detailed so it's like blurry and you know you can't basically figure out where the black portion is dominating but you know increasing the detail you can now see there are black portions and white portions, so it's more dense now. And yeah, then there's the distortion, so you know it distorts the noise. So it's just you know, like taking in a smudge tool and just drawing it out randomly. So yeah, that is what it does. So noise texture can be used in a lot of places. So we can just use this one. Uh, let me show you. I uh, will use a. Uh, oops, what does that do? Right. Oh yeah, the color output that you know generates the color. I don't know how the color is you know, uh, defined over here, so you know, it just gives a random color. I have no clue of what it means. So if you see, there is this black spot over here, and if you add the color, this black spot is represented by a blue and a green, but you know, some other black spot like over here or here, if you see, you know, now there is this red. Something I don't know how the color is determined, so mm, we just don't need a color as well. So yeah, just uh, making this a simple node tree over here. So we have is a diffuse and a glossy mixed together, and uh, noise for glossy. And the factor which is over here, and now you can see. Oops, the color white and that's the reflection wait a sec I'll just add in an object to here um, uh, let's see a use sphere and add in a new material in that shift s so let's make it a mission where is that boom now you can see the glass is getting affected by the noise and boom so you know it's not very prominent you can't actually see the difference over there here we go zero and see. Oh, there it is. So these black portions are treated as a diffuse, and the white portions of the scale is treated as a gloss. So you can see how that works. So that's basically, you know, the noise texture. Let's move on to the Voronoi. I'll just change that. Shift S and shader texture Voronoi. So this is a lot simpler node, and what it does is. This, uh, I don't know, it's something like cells, or uh, yeah, cells. So, I don't know, Voronoi 
what it is. I can't define it actually. Um, you know, it's generating a pattern where there are you know, cell looking line and the cells are filled with a radial gradient from black to white that is the border. So if you see there are you, know, you can just notice them. Yeah, so that's the white border and the radial fill of black to white is in between. And if you change this intensity to cells now boom <laughs> okay so that was color output. <laughs> right. So now there are only borders and filled with one random color between black and white. So that's basically I think that's Alright, so that's what cells do and what is what intensity do. So intensity it can be used to make you know some kind of bumpy bumpy thing, you know, surface, something like you know if you have if you are making a draw scene you can use this. We just add some contrast to deal with it. And then there's this cell so you can use it as well for making something. You know, I really use Texture, one eye texture is less preferred, but you know, if you are making something, you better use the Voronoi texture for displacement. So, you know, texture over here, you can oops, let's add in this place. Boom, so, uh, where is that? So, Voronoi from here that gives you way better results than you know, Voronoi from some other different place. So, let's see. Jesus, what's that? Boom, yeah, so that's the depth. So the black portion goes down and the white portion stays at the top. So eh, it can be used to make mountains or something. <laughs> but the texture is very you know, scarcely used. I really use this. And then there is, of course, a scale value that you know, increasing it adds more cells. The same for the intensity, it adds more you know, cells. <laughs> so it can be used as you know, making the skin, surface of the skin of humans, if you see, there are really small cells over there. And yeah, you can use that. So, uh, let's see. All edge. Yeah, there it is. Can be also used to make something. Puddles. <laughs> right, so you can play around with that. That is basically it for the Voronoi and the noise texture. Yeah, so the most important thing about values is that, you know, true false thingy of them so a zero color represents a value of I mean yeah, zero value represents a false and a value of one represents a true and zero is a bump and oh sorry uh, depth and one is a height so that's how it's treated also you know the black portion goes into the mix shader the first portion is taken in, uh, in consideration well, <laughs> what am I saying? So uh, the black portion goes into the mixed shader and the first shader is used by the black and the white is used by the second. So I discussed this in the mixed shader tutorial, you can see that I'm way back. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, that's basically it for the noise and the Veronic textures. And yeah, now the next nodes we will be discussing, the textures of course, uh, are mostly used for their values of course. And they don't have a very you know, useful use of their color output. <laughs> and uh, so, yeah, that's it. So, I hope you learned something. And you can follow us on Facebook at facebook.com slash blenderfile. And do subscribe to see our next videos. And we hope to see you in our next video. Till then, uh, just experiment with nodes. And happy blending. Bye.